Hi everyone, my name is Leela and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some delicious baked egg rolls. But instead of using the regular egg roll wrappers, I'm going to be using phyllo dough. This just gives it an extra flakiness and crunch. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting with two boneless skinless chicken breasts that I've cut into quarter inch square pieces. I'm going to sprinkle them with a half a teaspoon of garlic salt and then just let them sit while I prepare the other ingredients. Now for the rest of the filling, I'm going to be using one bag of coleslaw mix. This can usually be found in the produce section of most local grocery stores. I'm going to place this mix in a microwave safe bowl and add three tablespoons of stir fry oil. Remember, stir fry oil has the flavors of garlic, green onion, and ginger already infused into it. I'm also adding one teaspoon of garlic salt and a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Then I'm just going to mix this together and microwave it on high for four to five minutes or until the cabbage is nice and soft. Then just set this aside while we cook the chicken. Heat a wok on high and add one tablespoon of peanut oil. When the oil is hot, add the chicken and stir fry it for about three to five minutes or just until it is cooked through. When it's cooked through, remove it from the wok and add it to the cabbage mixture. Now it's time to wrap our egg rolls. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for the wrappers, I'm going to be using phyllo dough, which can usually be found in the frozen section of most local grocery stores. The phyllo dough comes in thin sheets like this, and when we put it together, it makes a nice, thin, flaky crust. So I'm going to start by placing one sheet on a work surface, and then just slightly spray it with some cooking spray. Then I'm going to place another sheet on top, and spray it lightly with just a little more cooking spray. And then place one more sheet on top, so that you have three sheets of phyllo dough in all. Then using a knife, just cut straight down the center so that you have two pieces. Then I'm going to take one of the pieces and add some of our filling towards one end. I want to fold in the sides about an inch or so and then just roll up the rest of the roll like this. Now I'm going to place it seam side down on an ungreased baking sheet. Once all of the rolls are rolled, Place them in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or just until brown. Then you can remove them from the heat and serve. Enjoy! For complete ingredients and instructions, click the link below. Thank you for watching!